boy, the Love Lounge sure does have soft beds. Now it's time for breakfast. <whistles> French toast. Oh, 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 hey, Barbara. Morning, Mayor. You've been here a while now. How's Bonville treating you? It's been great. If it was up to me, I definitely want to stay and live here. Well, I'll tell you what. I was watching you yesterday while you were working with Rebecca down by the river, and noticed you had some skill in finding treasures buried in all the sand and gravel. As it happens, we're in need of someone like you. We recently set up a sifter's hut, which we could put that skill to good use. What do you say? I've even got some room in one of our five-person houses, right across the street where you can live. Oh my gosh, it would be my privilege. Thanks, Mayor. That's what I like to hear. Why don't you come over to the town hall, and we'll get you registered as a citizen. So here's our town hall. The very center of our colony. Here you'll see a list of all our current citizens, and a list of all recent events. If you're looking for any general information about the colony, this is where to find it. Barbara, I've been here since the beginning. This place is near and dear to my heart, and I am super stoked to have you on board. Major, I will not disappoint. I am a great gold digger. <laughs> right. Anyways, I have a few orders I need to place over at the stone smeltery today so that our builders have all the stone and bricks they need for construction. So I'd best be going. Yep, she definitely doesn't know what that means. Knock knock! Who's there? Just kidding, you don't have a door. Ha ha ha! Hee hee, nice. You should change your name to Bad Joke Bloke. Rude. Alright Aiden, I came by to place a few orders for some materials. I heard Olivia had shipped a large order of raw cobble that she'd finished mining from deep down in the mine. And I'm gonna need a large portion of that smelted into stone. She sent some over to the crusher too, and Liam is over there crushing that up into clay. I'll have Kara pick it up on a delivery route and bring it over so that you can turn that into bricks. I should be able to get all that done by the end of the day. I have a request though. I asked Kira some time ago, but it seems she's been busy with higher priority deliveries, but I need fuel. I heard Guan had a lot of spare lumber over at the forestry hut that he's been storing from all his logging. If you can go grab some of that, I can turn it into charcoal and use that as fuel for all these projects. Sure man, anything for you, I can do that. I'll be back in a bit. Gooin's house, Gooin's house, we're going to Gooin's house. Maybe he'll have pizza. Mmm, if he does, he better have put pepperoni on that bad boy. Gooin! What's going on, man? How's the wife and son? Hey, Mayor. Everyone's great. London has been really busy recently over at the Smithy, making the weapons and armor for all the new guard recruits over at the barracks, and Matthew has been going non-stop with all the construction going on around town. Glad to hear it. So listen, you mind if I grab some of that dark oak wood you've been chopping recently and take it over to the stone smeltery? Ada needs some more fuel. Also, uh, if uh, London made some, you got any more pizza? Mayor. The only pizza you're going to be getting is a piece of my mind if you steal my pizza again you fat f ah ha ha ha. But Kira picked up my dark oak wood and took it to the warehouse just yesterday. Before you head that way, Olivia next door has some ore she wants smelted. She heard that the new smelter in town is good enough to produce double and even triple ore outputs. <laughs> alright alright. Thanks for letting me know. I'll stop by her mine and grab it. The new smithy certainly is a step up. See you around, Gowen. Olivia! How you looking so fine despite being in the mine all day, huh? Not good enough, eh? No, I literally just said you were good enough. You look great. I serve with pleasure. Well, I'm glad to hear it. You, uh, keep on working hard. How deep is your mine these days, by the way? Oh, snap! You made it all the way down to bedrock! Holy crap! This is why you are Bumville's miner. Here you go! When you finish smelting this up, schedule a pickup and have Kara drop it off at London's blacksmith. She'll be needing as many ingots as possible for some future undertakings. Understood. 
Well, per usual, that man is absolutely terrifying. All right, now which one of these racks did Kara put those dark oak logs in? Oh, there they are. And I think I needed something from over here as well. Oh, hey, Kara. How's our star courier and the fastest woman in town doing today? Yo, what's good, man? Another busy delivery day today. It'll be a doozy of a time, I'm sure. Oof, I can only imagine. I've been running some errands myself today, and I'm already this exhausted. And she's gone. Well, I'm sure I'll be seeing ya. Sorry that took me so long, Aiden. I got caught up checking in on a few of the crew. Here's your lumber. You are the bomb.com. Well, I'm glad you think so. The epitome of a real man. <laughs> oh, jeez, you're gonna make me blood. Instead of being the mayor of Bumville, you should be the mayor of Workaholicville. I don't know, that might be a bit of a stretch. If you were a booger, I'd pick you first. Okay, I'm gonna head out now. I need this day to hurry up and end. Judith, good to see you. I can't stay and talk because I got a busy schedule to keep for the rest of the day, but I figured I'd come by and drop off some dark oak wood for you. We're gonna need some more wood frame paper wall for an upcoming project, and I know being the operator to the sawmill, you're the one to ask about any wood-related crafting. Though I know you're picky about your recipes not overlapping with any other profession in our colony. Speaking of which, I need to take the rest of this lumber over to the Fletcher's hut so that Austin over there has the supplies to keep making bows and arrows for our archers. Austin, what's good, man? Here's some dark oak wood. By the way, if you had any of that left over after you finish all the bows and arrows, our friendly fisherwoman Rebecca asked me to ask you about getting a fresh pole. If you catch my drift. Oh, dang, you added another one to your collection. The last hunt must have been successful. Yes, it was. Very well, I shall deliver my pole to Rebecca. That's not the only shape I can make out of wood, though. If you catch my drift. <laughs> yes, Austin. I do catch your drift. See you around. All right, I think that's enough bumville for me today. I think I'm going to leave the rest of the deliveries in the courier's hands and rest up for another long day tomorrow. Mayor said I'm a star and the fastest woman ever. Time to make this dough. My dog Liam, I got your pickup request. Where do the sand, gravel, and clay be? Right on. I left it all out front for easy access. Okay, over there. It says in my notes you want me to drop that gravel and sand off at the concrete mixer. The rest of the sand should be delivered to the glass blowers to make all that good good glass. My homie the mayor told me the clay goes to the stone smeltery for bricks too. No cap. Catch you on the flip. Henrik, I left the drop-off out front for concrete whenever you need it. No time for a proper convo. Juices. Oh yeah, there she is. The girl of my dreams. The queen to the extremes. How I wish she treated me like one of her balance beams. If only- Aiden, shut your pie hole and give me the delivery. I don't have time for you today. Here's your play. Where is the smelted stone? Yes, ma'am. It's right over there in that rack. Millicent should be by the front entrance awaiting your arrival. Millicent, babe, you have no idea how much I need some girl time right now. For real. You and me both. Dealing with all these blockheads really wears you out. Here's the stone from Aiden. Nair said he needs it prepared on the double, because the builders are almost out of stone bricks. That's tough. Being a stonemason is tough. Especially in the fastest growing colony in the new world. We are the baddest of women. Like, so bad. Ha 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 ha. Bye for now Millicent. See you tonight. Ooh, that's some pretty glass you've prepared there. Can't wait to see that put up on a building. Why thank you, that's what I've spent the last couple of days on. 
been trying a few new things with glass coloration courtesy of the dyer supplying me with some of their product. Positively bonkers. Here's some sand. Liam just finished crushing this up a few moments ago, so the quality should be pretty smooth for glass making. Make that good good stuff. Wow, thank you so much. I'm going to bed. sore. Alright, time to get up. You know what? I should probably do some stretches this morning to loosen up. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm, some shoulder raises here. Stretch this neck out. Mm. That dream was epic though. I've been wanting to head into the Gaia dimension for a while now. I think I'm gonna make that my new adventure. Let's see here. In order to get to the guy dimension, it says I need to be level 58. Ugh, guess I have my work cut out for me. Hmm. From what I hear, though, if I study at the library, I can increase my intelligence stat, and that should increase the speed at which all my other stats level up. At least, that's how it works for the rest of the colonists. Alright, so that was on page 58 of How to Explore the Whole Universe for Dummies. But you know what? No time like the present. I guess I'll head on over to the library now. My word! I've been studying here for so long, and I didn't even level up! What am I to do? Oh, my back hurts. I suppose I should probably have a seat first. Oh. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Hmm. It says here on page 43 in this What to do when you grow old studying for so long at the library but don't level up. For dummies book. Says I should eat something. I guess I should probably head to the restaurant and grab a bite to eat. Perhaps then I'll feel a little less ancient. Hello, Jason. Please feed me. I need some of your food to put some of the life in back in this old body of mine. Mayor, you just missed the last of breakfast. Sorry. You mind doing me a favor, though? The baker next door is supposed to have prepared some bread and honey for me to serve for today's lunch. If you wouldn't mind going and picking that up for me, my assistant chef is sick from influenza and is at the hospital, so I don't have anyone to help out in the kitchen. I swear. Sure, I'll be right back. If you are here about the requested baked goods, I don't have them. Kara was supposed to pick up my ingredients from Lily at the apiary and Miles at the farm. But she never showed, so I haven't even been able to start. If you could go and grab them for me. I might still be able to make them for Jason, otherwise, we are going to have some hungry colonists. Do I have to do everything? So many people just standing around, but they're always asking me, the mayor, to fix all their problems. I feel like a freaking errand boy. Lily, my beautiful queen bee. You got any honey sitting around? Harrison needs some to make honey bread for today's lunch. Figured that since the bees have been so productive lately, you have plenty stored away already. I have some right here, Mayor. I imagine you'll be needing wheat as well. I was just talking to Miles and he said his crop was doing stupendously this year, so the wheat will be plentiful. By the way, you make a charming old man. What? 
Well, well, thank you. So you like my new silvery look, eh? Well, why don't you take that mask off and we can- Sorry to interrupt. I was over there at my composter doing some work and I overheard you talking about Miles' crop. I've been sending him tons of fertilizer, so Lily is correct. He'll have some boom in production. By now. Peter! You suck. Alright, Lily. Well, now that Peter has killed the mood, I'm gonna head over to Miles and grab this weed. My main man, Miles! Everyone has been raving about how well your weed crop is doing this season. Do you mind if I take some of that over to the baker so we can all have a nice lunch today? Knock yourself out, Mayor. Yeah, you might want to adjust your tone when you say that to somebody, Miles. Holy smokes, his crop was good this year. Alright, let's take this back to the baker and maybe I can finally get some food. All right. Thanks, Harrison. I'll take these over to Jason now. At long last, I can finally eat. Oh, yes, this honey bread's definitely going to do wonders for my vocal cords. All right. Well, now that we've put some life back in these old bones... Why don't we go train with the archer and knight recruits at their respective academies? No risk of dying here, but we can still level up our skills. Heck yeah! Now I only need four more before I can go to the guy dimension. I guess I'll just keep on training here. I can see why all the recruits come here first. Easy experience. Back to work we go. Your flowers smell dope, Philippa. It's a damn shame you have to pick them. Ha ha, it's not too bad. Peter will have more compost ready for you to bring me shortly, so I can grow new ones quickly. Anyways, these were specifically requested by Isaiah over at the Dyer, so if you wouldn't mind hustling over there before they dry out, I want them to maintain as much color as possible. Sure sure, I'll drop them off now. Sup, old man. Not dead yet, I see. These flowers are from Philippa. You can make some pretty dyes with them, or I can put them on your grave within the next week. Ha ha ha, only kidding. But seriously, take them. The glass blower will need some dye soon. See you later, or not, if you're dead. Ralph, what's good, dog? Should I stop by tomorrow to pick up your sugar cane? Yeah. Come by tomorrow. Booga Sugar will be ready for distribution too. Don't let the mayor find out though. Alright, cool. Now I'll wind my day down with meat pickups. The rabbit hutch has rabbit meat and hide. Chicken farm has eggs, chicken, and feathers. 
The pig pen has does good pork chops. The shepherd's hut has wool and delicious mutton. Then we'll get some fatty beef and cow hides at the cow farmers. Oh yeah. Last but not least let's grab Rebecca's fish. So good. Now I'm hungry. Oh, what are all these marks on my body? Oh, my head. Why does it hurt so bad? What's wrong with me? Hosh, hosh. You are going to be fine now. I told you not to keep overexerting yourself or you'd come down with something. There has been a string of smallpox running through the colony recently and you didn't listen. Now you are going to be bedridden here at the hospital for a while while the golden apple and bottle of honey take effect and cure you. You big fool. Oh man, this sucks. At least my doctor's hot. Guess I'll just go back to sleep until I'm better. Ooh, I feel good. All right, Mayor. You should be good to go now. All your symptoms are gone and you seem healthy. Sick! Now I get to go back to training, I get to get my last levels, and we're going to the guy dimension. Mir, if you don't take it easy, I will personally come find you and send you back to the hospital. I have things far worse than smallpox in my lab. Yeehaw! I'm out of here. I can't be cooped up in that place any longer. Actually, I guess I can finally do that job the Enchanter asked me to. I just have to pick up the gate at the mechanic, and then we can install it. What in the world is going on here? Man, they really tightened the security since I've been in the hospital. Something must have happened. Hello, Alice. How's business? It's faring well, Mayor. I finished making the gate you needed and I've been crafting a lot of redstone supplies for the builders recently. Glad you're keeping busy, my friend. I just got released from the hospital and I'm happy to be out and about. Let me take that gate off your hand. Here you go. Wow, thanks so much, Alice. Sorry it took me so long to pick it up. Alright, hopefully Humphrey isn't too annoyed when I show up there. This is definitely the archway where he wanted the gate, so I'll just pop that right there. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see. Oh, fully operable. Nice. Close it. Boom. Everything's great. Humphrey, you weird old man. Gate's installed out front. Now, I don't want to hear any snarky comments from you, all right? I was in the hospital. <laughs> I wasn't planning on giving any snarky comments. Actually, I made you some enchanted books as thanks. I've gotten a lot of experience since everyone around town has been so busy. Jerk face. Here they are. Thanks! Don't mention it. Mia Mia, we have been looking all over for you. Well, what's the problem? There is trouble brewing with King Rathalian, the barbarian overlord again. Captain wants to see you. All right, all right, I'll head over there now. Thank you. Dua, what's going on, man? Why is everybody freaking out? Mayor, he's back. King Rathulian and his band of hooligans are camped just over the ridge, and this time their numbers are large. Damn! And what are we gonna do about it this time? I need you to go see Oscar and ask him to bring all the guards from the guard towers. We'll need their assistance. Before you go, Use your mayor's privilege and send out spies to narrow down the enemy's position. Captain, I'll take care of that right away. Have Kara pick up all the weapons and armor that London has been making down at the blacksmiths, so that we can arm our warriors. I'll make sure to be back in time to help lead our men into battle. Alright, first things first. Let's send out the spies. Knowing the enemy's position in battle will give us a huge advantage.
Oscar, as one of our veterans, I need you to take charge of the guard forces. We know the general location that King Rathulian will be coming from is the northwest. So meet up with the captain at the barracks, and we'll head out from there. We're counting on you. To arms, brother! To arms! I need the armaments for my troops ASAP, Kira. It's do or die now. London, I got here as quick as I could. I need all the equipment immediately to take to our soldiers. It's ready and waiting. I'll help you load it. Men and women of Bumville! This is our time! Our moment! We built this place! And we will not let it be taken from us! Today I ask you to give your all! Let this be a glorious battle! And let us once and for all be back, King Rathulian! Today, we make history! And we secure our standing in this bright new world! that we have fought so hard to make our home. Everyone in position. They took the bait. Archers stay behind the knights, and the knights come forward when I give the signal. Now! Knights step forward now! Uh, guys, that, that's the signal. Come on, help me out here. What are we doing here, guys? Come on, remember that glorious battle we were supposed to have? What's going on? Help me out here. Come on, you guys stop. Oh, no, stop that. Get, get off me. Oh, jeez, now I'm stuck in a freaking cave. Get off me. Mm. Ooh, stop it. Stop shooting me. You all suck. Do it, you're fired. You, you're not going to be the captain anymore. I do this myself. What now, Rathulian? What are you gonna do now? I defeated all your henchmen, and I didn't even need to use my henchmen. It's just you and me now, buddy. And I'm gonna win. You're gonna die, and I'm gonna win. On the count of three. One, two, three. Ooh, yeah. I am so good. Who's the mayor of Bumville? I'm the mayor of Bumville. Who's the captain of Bumville? I'm the captain of Bumville. Who's not the captain of Bumville? Do it. Now everybody cheer for the best mayor ever. No? It's just me? Alright, I give up. Goodbye. With the successful defense of Bumville, life once again regained its peaceful nature. The children were able to go back to school and speed up their growth through learning. And the university was able to continue its productive existence of research and technological progression. For the first time in a long while, Bumville had no immediate threats and a very bright future ahead of it. And by slaying King Rathulian, the mayor was level 58. Oh, yeah. Guy Dimension, here we come.